Hey guys, AK47 Master here. Welcome to another episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In this episode, we're going to start off with one of my least favorite characters in this series, Miss Oldbag. And she is a security guard here for Global Studios, so we're going to be seeing a lot of her. So, what do you do here at the studios? At Global Studios, we make children's dreams come true. In fact, in my younger days, no, you were a star? Only a little twinkle between the stars here, I'm afraid, dearie. Whoa, wow. This place has really gone downhill, you know. But ten years ago, now that was a studio of dreams. Hammer was a big star back then, he was. Hammer. The victim, dummy. The evil magistrate. He's been reduced to playing villains now. Not exactly the best material to work with. Sure. Well, let's talk about Miss Will Powers. Or Mr. Will Powers. Can you tell me about Mr. Will Powers? He's not a bad kid, but don't be fooled by his mask. You wouldn't want him on the silver screen without without it, believe me. Little old ladies watching would lose their lunch. That's probably why he thought that the Steel Samurai was his big chance. No one thought he was capable of doing what he did to poor Jack Hammer. We don't know for certain that Will Powers is guilty. Powers? Of course he's guilty. How do I know? I know everything. That's my job. Actually, no. Your job is just to watch the studios, dummy. What kind of person was Jack Hammer? What kind of person? Oh, if you only knew. Jack Hammer will live on in many hearts as the ultimate action hero. He was simply dashing in the Dynamite Samurai series. Should I have heard of that? <laughs> but there was an accident during filming five years ago. He got an unlucky break after that. Reduced to playing the villain on a children's program. What's more, I heard they were paying him pen peanuts. It's enough to make you cry. Reasons for suspicion. Why are you so certain Mr. Powers is the killer? I was standing right here yesterday. I was. I was here from 1 in the afternoon to 5 when they found the found the body. Now the studios where the murder took place is to the left here. So if you want to go to the studios, you have to pass by me. Only one person went by here between 1 and 2.30 when the murder took place. And that person was Mr. Powers? Yes, I saw him, but Mr. Powers says he was sleeping in his dressing room. Oh, I'm sure he would say that. He's no fool. But he was the only one that walked by. He's the killer. You can bet your biscuits on it. Isn't it about time for you to be heading home? There's nothing to see here. Move along. Um, actually, we're here at Mr. Power's request. Hmm, I thought you were suspicious looking. Show me a letter of request. Maybe I'll just let you in. This lady here thinks she owns the place, obviously. Do we even have something like that? I don't remember. Nope, we don't have anything. Okay. <laughs> well, I guess we're gonna have to head back to the detention center. Hello, how was the studio? They all think I did it, don't they? Uh, no, not at all. Isn't that right, Nick? Right, not at all. At worst, you're a suspect. <laughs> Sorry about that, that was my dog. Alright, so let's talk about the security lady. Um, about the security guard at the main gate to the studio. Oh, the security lady? She's terrible. She called me suspicious looking. Yes, actually she said the same thing to me before. Take off that mask, her words be I believe. She sucks up to all the bigwits at the studio. But let her see you stumble once and she'll never let you up, up on you. Grr, she's got some nerve. You think you could write up a letter formally requesting my representation? Uh, of course. Right, powers request. Add it to the court record. I just hope this will get me past that security lady. I hope too. Okay. Wait, I think there was one last thing we didn't ask about. Your alibi. Mr. Powers, you aren't hiding anything from me, are you? Well, what? No, I never do that. Just now you said that you were sleeping in your dressing room after lunch. Yes, like a baby. But the security lady said she saw you that day. She says she saw you heading towards the scene of the crime. What? That's impossible. I, I really don't know what to say. I was sleeping, I promise. Mr. Powers, if you want me to help you, you have to tell me the truth. I, I'm new to this lawyer business, and I need every advantage I can get. I know, I'm sorry, but I swear to you, on my mama's grave, I was sleeping. Maybe the security lady only thought she saw me. What did she see? He doesn't seem to be lying. Well, he could be true, because that security lady is pretty old. Her name is Old Bag, after all. And uh, let's show Miss Little Old Bag <clears throat> letter of request, so she'll find the letter through. 
Ma'am, have a look at this. It's a letter of request from Mr. Powers. Hmm, yes, yes, I recognize the bold, childish scrawl. Gabe Powers' request to the security lady. To think he would re entrust his fate to youths of such unreliable appearance. Really? Really? Anyway, you may pass. But only left from here, toward the studios. No going to the right. That's the employee area. No one allowed inside power my instructions. The good detective told me himself. Hey, hey Nick. Huh? There were maps in the security guard station. Hey, not bad. Those are 50 cents apiece, thank you. Well, time to go, Nick. 50 cents! Gosh, he's going crazy over <laughs> two quarters. Alright. So now let's head to outside of Studio One. Hey, aren't you that murderer from the other day? Ah, it's that confused detective. Hey, pal, you know Prosecutor Edgeworth is all upset and it's all your fault. I saw him sipping tea and staring gloomily into out the window. Um, so? Hey, if he's depressed, it's all your fault for doing sloppy detective work. Now he's depressed. Uh, detective? <laughs> I think you hurt his feelings. Oh, no, I, I'm sorry. Well, I think his feelings are easily hurt. You're right, pal. It's all my fault. Can't blame other people I want all I want, but I know the truth in my heart. Hey, hey, don't take it so hard. There's ne always the next case. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Hey, what exactly are you two doing here? Um, well, we're on this case too, pal. Huh? Hey, you can't get just go around saying pal like that. That's my endearing character trait. I'd say he's a character, all right. <laughs> Alright, so what is Gumshoe doing here? Let's check out the investigation. So how is your investigation going, Detective? Well, it's... Hey, I can't tell you that, pal. Nick, maybe you need to be a little more indirect with your questions. Right, so, Detective, mind if I take a look at what you got? What I got? The autopsy report. The latest version, if you please. Hmm, right, right. Sorry about what happened last time, pal. That's right, give me that autopsy report, Detective. Reason for arrest. Why was Mr. Powers arrested? Simple, pal. The murder took place right over there in Studio One. Now, the victim entered Studio One at approximately 1 p.m. At that time, there was no other, no one other than the victim in the studio. According to the autopsy report, the time of death was 2.30 p.m. Only one person went to the studio between 1 and 2.30, and that person was none other than Will Powers. No one else, pal. If you think I'm lying, ask the security at the main gate. Nick, that's true. Anyone would think that Powers did it with that kind of evidence. Thanks for cheering me up. <laughs> Alright, the security lady. About the security lady. Oh, that sweet old lady? What a charmer, huh? Are we talking about the same person? When I saw her, my badge... When I showed her my badge, she gave me a donut and some coffee. Remember what Powers said. She's a sucker for authority. She even gave me a piece of valuable evidence. What? Decisive evidence? What is this? What kind of evidence? Well, that her photo. The photo of the seal samurai heading toward the scene of the crime. What? Who took that? See the camera up on that gate, pal? The gate? You mean the one with the welcome sign? Yeah. Whenever someone walks by, that camera automatically shoots a photo of them. Oh no! Nick, he has evidence. We're finished. Funny, for someone with... Who, with heart proof, he doesn't look too happy. What's wrong, pal? You seem down. Don't look so happy when you say that. Oh ho 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 ho. Um, we'd like to ask the employees here some questions. Sure thing, pal. Go wherever you like. Of course, you're not going to find any clues I haven't already found. Ha ha ha. I'm glad someone around here seems to be enjoying themselves. Nick, let's go. We got a free pass to the place. Now's our chance to check things out. And we will be doing that on the next episode of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney, where we'll be further investigating Studio One and the rest of Global Studios on the next episode. I'm AK47 Master, and I'm signing out.